Okay. Well, some of you are probably wondering, Davis, what happened to the 30-day challenge? Well, I'll tell you. Uh, I had planned to film the remainder of the 30-day challenge in Mississippi. I was in Mississippi a couple weeks ago. Uh, that did not work out so well. And it's not because I, I met great people down there that definitely put us on some fish when we had the weather. The problem was the weather. Um, I went there for eight days. It absolutely downpoured for six of them. Um, if you fish those northern Mississippi lakes, Grenada, Sardis, Enid, uh, you know they're set up east to west. So if you get any type of wind, like the wind we got today, there would be five footers on those lakes. And uh, that's exactly what what we had. Uh, it got to the point that it went from being unfishable to just downright dangerous to be on the water. Um, Wednesday was actually pretty bad. I, I haven't been on the water or on a lake or river in a while where I thought, you know, there's a really good chance that, well, more than, more than what I'm comfortable with, a good chance that this boat is going to take on some water and possibly sink. And uh, yeah, got into that position on Wednesday, didn't have time to film any of it. We got another windy one today up in Wisconsin, but here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna keep posting the videos that I had. I filmed them mid-September before my trip. I think I got like six or seven more. I did manage to get two videos done in Mississippi, so those will be out pretty soon, hopefully. Um, but this video is gonna be about trolling crankbaits if the wind can ever stop so I can tie this knot. I'm trolling these micro crankbaits I got here. This is the Z Cranker by Eurotackle. And I filmed this back in mid-September. Work then, it will work right now. Actually, probably work better right now because these crappie are holding really tight to the bottom today. We got a southeast wind, east-southeast. Uh, we had a front move through yesterday and uh, these crappie are holding real tight to the, to the bottom. I'm trying to find the fish right now where they're less than 25 feet of water. I'm finding massive schools in about 30 feet of water, but you don't really want to target them. I caught actually a couple of them, tried to throw them back. They're, they're, they're pretty much dead. So I threw them in the live well. I'm gonna cook them up later tonight. Uh, so I'm really trying to find fish that are 25 feet or less or shallower in the water column right now. Uh, but this is the same exact setup that I use the floating jig setup with. Um, it's quite literally the same. Instead of the floating jig, we're just using this a really shallow diving crankbait. This thing only dives probably about a foot to two feet. And I used it during the springtime, I believe during, during the spawn or early, early post-spawn when these fish were set up in about eight feet of water on top of some weeds. Uh, but yeah, this is, this is the rig here. So we got the... This is the, I believe it's either the bluegill or the perch pattern uh, Z cranker here. And then we got, all right, so we got our, this is a, we're fishing in deeper water. So we went with a quarter ounce bullet weight. I have a size 12 barrel swivel right there. Okay, that's just a size 12, size 12 basic barrel swivel. And then we have our rubber bobber stop that you're just gonna slide down and you're gonna pinch that that uh, bullet weight right to the barrel swivel. That's our setup. That's our setup, it's super, super simple. Um, I got about a five foot leader. I probably don't need this long a leader today. Um, I thought these fish were gonna be a little more suspended. Actually in the September video, which is your, the one you're gonna watch. Ooh, it's windy. Uh, those fish are suspended a little higher off the bottom. The ones today are really low because we have this front push through. They're going to get low to that to that bottom. They're going to feed mostly on insect larvae today. Uh, in mid-September, I was finding them probably four, five, six feet off the bottom. They're chasing bait fish like this. Um, and that's why this is a great setup to have. If they're fishing that insect larva, probably want to just go to a drop shot rig and then tie on a creature plastic or something, something I used to as the crappie monster up, uppercut. But, if they are chasing bait fish, if they're suspended a little bit off the bottom, three, four, five feet, this is a great tactic. So that's how you tie it on. Very simple rig. We're going to go right to September and uh, catch these fish. This tank of boat gas is sponsored by Exter, a slim wallet designed with a quick card access mechanism, RFID blocking technology, and can be tracked using your phone via their app. No more losing or misplacing your wallet in your car or your truck. 
or even in your house. The slim design leather wallet is great and almost unnoticeable when carrying it around. The quick card access mechanism is great for carrying credit cards and your licenses. Check out the extra parliament leather wallet. What well, we're trying to see, fish stacked up, just kind of in open water. There's a few, uh, I have a few brush piles marked out, but they're, from what I've seen, they're really not that tight, but this is kind of what you want to see. They're just kind of spread out all over the bottom here. 21, 22 feet of water, something like that. This is what they're doing right there. This is a, yeah, that might be a clump of them. I don't think that's a brush pile. No, that might be an old one. But yeah, there we go. That's what we want to see on the 2D. Just fish stacked up all over the place. That's what we're going to do today. These crop are spread out. They're not really tight to brush piles. And this is a great setup if you don't have a live scope system like I got going on here, but you're just kind of trolling through an area. Great way to get crappie to bite. So let's start trolling and get this bait down there. All right, here we go. We're in about 20. Yep, see, this is what I mean. They're just spread out. Come on, buddy. They're just kind of spread out across this lake bottom here. They're all over the place. I'm in 22, 23 feet of water. So let's pick them off. A little crank, crankbait. I'm gonna troll about 0.3 to 0.4. Drop this thing all the way to the bottom. On the bottom yet? There we go. I'm just gonna slow, slowly troll this thing. Always troll into the wind and get better boat control that way. There he is. There he is. Crappie number one. I'm a little crankbait. Now if you really wanted to, you could uh, get a T-bar off the front or the back. Troll, troll, well, here in Wisconsin you could troll three, three lines of these little crankbaits per person. Some other states you probably do four or more. I know a lot of people just troll crankbaits for crappie and probably less than 15 feet of water, but when you're trolling them down to 20 feet, you need that extra weight. Yep, yep. Got him. Is that a crappie? What is that? Ooh, this might not be a crappie. This is a crappie, it's a good crappie. I don't think it's a crappie though. What we got here? Oh, I hooked him funny. Hooked him sideways. Now that'll happen. You felt like a uh, solid walleye there, bud. I was hoping there was gonna be a bonus dinner thrown in that live well today, but nope. A lot of times when you're pulling them like this, that rod tip, there's one. That rod tip will actually unload. So it'll be kind of loaded up from that weight that you're tra dragging and it'll hit it and actually push that entire weight forward. Really fun way to catch them, especially when they're spread out like this. And if you didn't have live scope, and you didn't really want a spider rig, you want to change them up, troll some micro crankbaits in deep water. Nope. Is that him? Yep. That's a fish, I think. Yep. Cool guy. Barely tapped it. Now where they're suspending out is kind of on the deepest parts of these points that are connected to these spawning bays. And so when when you want to troll through something like this, first I would I would side scan over it. I would use your side imaging, side scan, side view, whatever unit you have. Check to see if there's any brush or trees or anything like that. Because uh, I don't know if you want to lose some crankbaits in the trees. Probably won't be too fun. But if you got some sort of open expanse where it's either just weeds or here it's just flat bottom. This is a great way to kind of go along the edge of where they're gonna set up between fall and, or between summer and fall here. They're gonna start transitioning out to those deeper spots. 
on these drop-offs from these spawning bays and that's what I'm doing. I'm just kind of trolling right along these edges in 20 to 23 feet of water. Towards the fall they might push off a little bit deeper, 25 plus. And then in the winter time they're just going to suspend near these basins. If you're fishing river systems they're going to suspend in the middle of these creek channels and this is a great way of like cold water fishing. I mean if you're not ice fishing but if you got open water and you're lucky enough to have open water during December through February it's a great way to catch them. A lot of guys spider rig with jigs but oh there's one. But if trolling crankbaits can definitely trigger a bite. There we go. Oh boy. Easy. Let's not do that. Especially these little micro crankbaits, they just, they love them. Little bait fish swimming through the water. Especially right now, summer into fall when these crappie hit the feed bag. That's a real tasty meal for them. So there's a little bend in the rod because that rod tip's loaded up. It's gonna come undone if they hit it hard enough. Or they just slam into it. <laughs> this is a ton of fun. If you get on a good sized school that's spread out and you can't quite vertically jig over the top, Rolling crankbaits in deep water. Produce a lot of fish. There he is. There he is. It's a decent one. Decent one to ender. Got the yellow bellies. Well, that is the, uh, the setup. If you, uh, I'm gonna throw this guy back. And then the Euro Tackle Z Cranker. Perfect little micro crankbait. Troll for some open water crappie. Try this out this fall when these crappie get into these, I guess these open water edges, these transitions uh, from that hard soft bottom throughout the fall. That's where they're gonna set up. Even on river systems, they're gonna set up on the edges of those creek channels. And uh, be sure to side scan before it. Make sure there's not a ton of brush there. Otherwise you're gonna, you're gonna lose a lot of crankbaits. But if it seems like it's open, go for it. Tie this on. Drop it down there, catch yourself a bunch of crappie. Appreciate you watching as always. If you got any comments or questions about this setup, let me know in the comment section below. This is a seven and a half foot ACC, 2000 size honor reel. But uh, you got any comments or questions, you can either post them in the comment section below or you can message me on either Facebook or Instagram. I always appreciate you watching. Hope you're enjoying this 30 day fishing challenge uh, video series. We'll see ya.